Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy and him, dog, and we back to it. You know how we do it. Basketball stories, Indiana glory with Larry Bird, Reggie Miller, and Isaiah Thomas, part three. This is part three. If you haven't seen my part one or my part two, I'm gonna add it in the description somewhere. But go watch those first before you watch this, so you can kind of understand what you know been already going on in this video. Because we're already 24 minutes in. And we got another 24 minutes, but before we get into this video, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. We on the way to 10K. We like so close, y'all. If you right there that's watching, if you subscribe and you tell one friend to subscribe, or go, go to your other, I know everybody got another YouTube channel. Everybody got like two or three channels. So go ahead and just subscribe on your other channels and I promise we'll be the 10K by, by next week probably. So, I appreciate y'all in advance, but let's get into it. I don't want to do too much talking. Part three is here, man. We got basketball stories, Indiana glory with Larry Bird, Reggie Miller, and Isaiah Thomas. Let's get it. You know, I paid the price with a lot of injuries I had, but I laid on the line every night, practice, yeah. playing, and it made me better. You gotta respect plus, I was it, playing man. against the world's best. That's what it's all about. Thirteen very great years, you know. He didn't play twenty years, but he played thirteen years, and he played hard every single game. So I respect that more than somebody playing twenty years and barely playing eighty-two games in the season. One of the great shooters of all time, Indiana. Okay, it's finally Reggie time. Okay. Reggie Miller, a prime time show. It doesn't get better than that. That, in a nutshell, is Indiana basketball. Now, I Reg apologize to both of you guys because you guys are used to excellence, but more importantly, you guys are both used to winning. And I personally, as being ahead of the stake, didn't deliver that for you as you guys were my, both of you guys were my coaches. And I know it's a team game, but for Larry, when I really was, that was my team because I was, I had my superpowers then. With you, I didn't necessarily have all my superpowers. We were transitioning. It was after the finals and we were getting younger. So I just got to say, I got to apologize. Yeah, because right. It was a lot of pressure playing for you guys. I tell you though, Reggie, that the years I was there, you had good teams. We did. You guys were good. And my whole thing then was to, uh, to Rick Carlisle and Dick. I said, how do we convince these guys how good they are? He said, well, they'll wake up one day and realize it. I said, I think they know they're good, but these guys are championship good. And I don't think deep down you guys really thought you could win it. I thought you could. You're in a game seven. Every possession by Jordan. Three paces surround the pipe. Ooh. And a jump ball. I'm on Jordan Lee. One timeout. And the jump ball was Jordan and, and Rick Smith. They wouldn't lined up right. We could have stole the tap and, and, and went down and scored. And I said, if we get that possession, we get that possession. Two, then we run it out. They win it. Kerr hits the three. Listen to the little things that you're right, talking right. about. I mean, yeah. that, that, I didn't call the time out. That, 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 that's that's, that's what we time learned. Out. Right? Sad. Yeah. Man, you guys were good. Yeah. God, you were good. But it, it was it was a joy because, you know, you were coming in after, you know, Rick had retired Rick Smith had retired. Jermaine was coming in and baby Al and Jamal. It's a and good team. I remember, you know, we had made yeah. halfway through your first season, we made that trade to get Brad Miller and Ron Ron. So Larry Larry's leaving. Ron Ron. I get Shout a call from Ron Guy, You know, hey, would you like to coach the Pacers. And I'm like, yeah, come back to Indiana, you know, absolutely. So in my mind, I right, mean, I remember that. I'm thinking, okay, Mark Jackson, Rick Smith, <laughs> Chris <laughs> Mullen. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking like I'm coming back to get that to So I get the job that summer and this kid in Portland, Jermaine O'Neal, right? I'm like, Donnie, you know, this guy, 
He's not playing a lot, but I think he's really good. I think we should trade for him. If there's a time to do it, this is the this is the moment. Yeah, and and Jermaine's, you know, th- this one's gonna be be good. Uh, you know, so anyway, Donnie makes a trade. We get Jermaine, and now we got a team mm. that you know it's, it's a little tough. You know, we got some, and and you were great. Not only were you great, but you were like, okay, we we're going to help Jermaine become great. And and it goes back to again the the teachings that we got you know from Larry from Magic and everything else it it can't always be about you right how do you help your teammates how do you help everyone else become better and you did that for that team well I want to tell you an interesting story because once you made that that trade our very first practice very first practice we were out there for three hours. Yeah. And we were going hard. Yeah. And I remember Jermaine walking up to me. It's like, man, this is crazy. We're <laughs> running and they go so hard. And I looked at it and was like, well, welcome to 80s and 90s basketball. Yeah. This, is a, this is how it, it, is. it should be. Yeah. You should feel like this. Yeah. Right? And we kind of took off right after that. Got it to Reggie. Here's a three. Yeah. That's tough, Reggie. Yeah. Hey, where does Reggie Miller rank on like the all-time um, shooting guard list? He's a shooting guard, right? Yeah, I think Reggie. Yeah, Reggie was definitely a shooting guard. Where would he? Where does he rank on that all-time list? Because I feel like the more that time goes by, you know, we start kind of forgetting about people like that because we got all these three-point shooters now, Ray Allen and Clay Thompson, and you know all these other guys. So yeah, let me know where Reggie Miller ranks. On the all-time shooting guard list. Let me know. The top five, top ten, top three. Let me know. As time expired. For me as a coach. Definitely not top three. What <laughs> y'all allowed me to do was not only coach, but also set some rules. And still today, I, I tell everybody, he still calls us coach. I do. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, you know, one of the highest Your compliments heart. you can get. That is a... That is a respect in a higher level, and I thank you for giving that to well, me. Well, it's a mutual respect I have for both of you because it's funny because I said we were doing one of our TNT things, and I called you coach in yeah. front of Kenny Smith. And Kenny you know, came to me later like, why are you calling Isaiah coach? I was like, he's my coach. He was my coach. He's like, that's like for people like Pa. Yeah. Or, you know, yeah. you, got <laughs> home, you, know, you yeah. call them guys yeah. coach. I was like, no, he, yeah. he's my coach. Yeah, I love that. I love that because it's actually a few people that to this day I still call coach. Like people that coached me 10, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, back when I was in Ohio. Um, there's still people. And I don't even think they might not even be coaching no more. They might be retired and, you know, just a, 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 a parent in the stands now. But when I see certain people that coached me when I was a kid and I respect them and felt like they were good coaches, I still call them coach to this day. So I, I like that Reggie do that. that that's super dope. Yeah. That's how much respect I have for both of you. Now, you come back to the Pacers after you were with us for three? Yeah, three years. Three years. Yeah. Then you come back. Yeah. And you guys had an interesting dialogue. You know, I get a call from Donnie. You know, Larry's been hired to come back to the Pacers. And president of basketball operations. President of basketball operations. And I walk in the office and there's Larry and Donnie. And Larry goes, hey, Isaiah, you know, I think you've done a great job here. You know, but I've decided to go in a different direction. You know, I'm going to let you go and I'm going to bring in, you know, Rick Carlisle. Mm. And Larry, I don't know if you, I don't know if you remember me saying this to you, but I said, Larry, I think you're making a mistake. I said, Larry, you and I, I think if we're together here in Indiana, I think we can do great things with this team. I think you and I would be dynamic here. Do you remember me saying that to you? And... And this is where Larry said, yeah, yeah, I'm less good, but, you know. <laughs> he goes, he said, you, you might be right. He going, and you've done a great job here. You haven't done anything wrong. I just like Rick better. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you, you, you say? I was like, oh. At least he was real with it. And do y'all think that Isaiah Thomas was a good coach? Let me, let me know in the comments because I got a funny story. Um, I mean, this doesn't this doesn't determine if he was a good coach or a bad coach because it may just have been the talent. But when I was in college, I played at Bowling Green. Uh, we played against Florida International. This is probably like my sophomore or junior year. I can't really remember what year it was, but we went down to Miami. 
They played against Florida International. And guess who the coach was? Guess who the head coach was? Isaiah Thomas. And it was funny because I feel like he was never around the team, really. Like, our coaches was out there for, you know, shoot around and when we were warming up before the game. And we never seen Isaiah Thomas until right when the game started. Which we all thought was a little weird. But anyways, we ended up playing and we beat him. You know, it was super cool, you know, when we did the shake, we shook our shook the hands at the end of the game, you know, for me to shake Isaiah Thomas' hand, it was super cool, but I think Florida National was not a good team that year, so I don't know if he was kind of checked out, didn't really care for that team, but I just kind of remember all of us kind of saying, like, is Isaiah Thomas even a good coach? Like, he wasn't even really around a team like that, but y'all let me know in the comments, do y'all think Isaiah Thomas was a good coach? Like I said, I don't think that determines if he was a good coach or bad coach. He was in the NBA. He coached in the NBA, so let me know what y'all think, if, if, if Isaiah Thomas is a good coach or not. Uh, you, you know how close me and Rick are. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. been for since 83 or whatever. I, did, I thought Rick would be there forever, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah, something's changed. But, but I still think this. I'm going to say this in front of both of you. What are you going to say? I've said this before. I think you made a mistake firing me because I think I'd have won with that team. And I think... We never would have had the malice at the palace in Detroit. Oh, like relax, we with Isaiah. Boston with Larry, right? The respect the fans had. I thought that we would have had that in Detroit. You think that. You think that. But do you really know, Isaiah? Like, come on now. Like, it's, it's, it's in hindsight now. But I appreciate y'all for watching that video. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if y'all haven't already. We are on the way to 10K. I keep saying it because I'm so excited. So excited because we're almost there, man. That was a great video. Um, I think we got time for probably one more. I won't, I won't make the last part of this into two videos. That'll be one video. So, yeah, man. I appreciate y'all like always. Please like this video if y'all like it. And go ahead and write something in the comments. Let me know. Do y'all think Isaiah Thomas would have won with that team? Like, it's easy for him to say that 20 years later down the line. Like, you, you, don't, you don't really know. But let me know what y'all think, man. But I appreciate y'all like always. We out.